Hi, this is Maria from Graphics. I'm sure you're aware of how important customer segmentation is for your business. Everyone has needs and you need to understand what those needs are and try to fulfill them. In the end, we all just want to be heard, supported and understood. You can segment your customers by age, location, gender, background, or whatever works for your business. But today I'm going to show you how to segment your customers in a very quick, easy, and insightful way. All you need is graphics. Let's get to it. We're going to be working with this data set that it's from a delicatessen slash grumet shop. So some of the variables will be the amount of wine they sold, of fruit, meat products, fish products, and so on. And I also have customer information such as education, year of birth, or marital status. So here in type of analysis, I'm going to be choosing models. And then I'm going to be choosing cluster because what, what, I, what I want to do here is group my customers according to similarities. And then here I have my variables or columns from my data set. And I'm going to drag two factors, those that I want to have involved in the analysis. So that could be income or it could be if they have kids or residency that being the last time that they purchased from our place and then I click on next I give my project a name and click on execute and that will be it you don't have to do anything else just clicking and drag and drop so this will be my project as you can see I have different clusters and this is what I've been doing, just grouping my customers according to similarity. What do I want to do? I want to find a small um, segment of customers that would have a positive response to a wine marketing action. Who are likely or what type of customers are likely to have a positive response to a marketing action? So what I would do will be going here to my variables. Again, I have here all my variables from the data set, um, the ones that we have already seen. And I will go to amount spent on wine and filter the top segment, let's say up to here, and try to understand the, the type of customers that buy um, more wine than others. So I can go down and see how they're overrepresented, not only on web purchases, but also in all sorts of purchases. The year of birth, they tend to be born between the 50s and the 70s. And they tend to have a PhD or master. And also we see here a little overrepresentation on divorce and a little bit also in widow. And they have a high income and no kids and we could say no teens or barely teens at home. So my segment of interest are people that were born between the 50s and the 70s. They tend to have a PhD or master. They have a higher income and no kids or teens at home. So those are great insights for, for example, my marketing team since they are going to be able to target this specific segment in their marketing action. For example, they can definitely go for a more mature and formal style and design since we're not targeting young, younger segments. And also when it comes to discounts, offers or bundles, this is going to be great information since we know that they have higher income so we don't have to, for example, um, offer discounts on cheaper wines. We're gonna go for that top segment. So this is it for today. I hope that you found this video interesting. This is just a tiny example of all you can do about customer segmentation. Let's say that you want to segment your stores by location so and you can understand why some stores are just doing better than others or that you want to offer discounts for specific segments of customers or that you want to understand what type of products your customers are buying together so you can offer them special discounts or bundles. The options are infinite. But anyways, this is it for today. I'm gonna leave you related information down here so you can access to this project and also the link where you can create your graphics account. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.